Carly for that report. After almost two years spent at home, many people are more than ready to attend their favorite big events. And so far, Sean, it looks like many people are doing their best to make up for the lost time. They are, Bailey. I recently attended an Indian festival called the Festival of Colors in Moundsville, West Virginia, with photojournalist Chase Huger. I call this festival the happiest festival in the world. The Festival of Colors is inspired by the Indian Cultural Festival of Holi, which has been practiced for thousands of years. And after a two-year hiatus, the Festival of Colors returns this fall at the Palace of Gold in Moundsville. And for Preeti Das, who is from Columbus, Ohio, says she traveled over 150 miles to attend this festival to celebrate events opening back up after two years of waiting. It was really hard just staying home, not being able to socialize and like do any sports or anything like that. Um, so it was difficult and for everyone around the world, they had to, you know, do their jobs from home and all. So it did cause a huge problem for everyone. But now that everything is slowly opening back up, I do see everyone slowly communicating with each other. I think this is amazing because now everyone can like experience what they did in the past. And Das isn't the only one who has a reason to celebrate. Research shows that loneliness increased by as much as 30% during the pandemic, and emotional distress tripled. Considering this festival is known for celebrating the world coming out of a darkness into the light, the timing couldn't be more appropriate. I'm like a nature person, so it was kind of hard, and we live in a city and we have a lockdown. So it feels kind of nice to just get back with people. My son is a pandemic baby. Uh, for a minute, he had problems socializing and stuff, getting out there. He wasn't used to it. He used to being home. What makes this festival unique is its focus on joy, peace, and natural beauty with bands, food vendors, and Indian folk dancers. Festival coordinator Anuradha M. Singh says this festival is meant for everyone from all cultures, ethnic backgrounds, and ages to come together in harmony. The Festival of Color is such a disarming festival in that after a few color throws, everyone looks the same, you know? So it's the one time, I think, that everyone looks around and they see everyone just looking exactly the same and you're able to overcome all of these designations of, you know, the color of a person's skin or, you know, the height or the age or the whatever, everyone looks the same. In India, the Festival of Colors announces the arrival of spring and the passing of winter. But here in America, the spring observance is held in the fall of each year in cities across the United States because the spring months are still too cold in North America for festivities. The idea behind this festival is for people to bury their problems and throw their worries to the wind by throwing colors of the rainbow to elicit feelings of happiness and harmony. Young and old alike are covered in colors of red, green, yellow, blue, pink, and more. But this tradition, known as color throwing, done at the top of every hour at this festival, is only one part of the all-day celebration. She came for the food, I came for the uh, social environment, and they, all came, they came for the colors. They love uh, making messes. This music and this dance, that's really great. Actually, we actually we don't have that. We uh, don't really get that opportunity too much, and it is really nice. And I bought this plant. I didn't expect that. I really love plants, music, dance, and color. It's no wonder many festival goers say the Palace of Gold is mesmerizing. It has an award-winning rose garden and scenic mountain views. Festival officials say this palace is the centerpiece of the festival and represents peace and history. Well, that's going to do it for West Virginia Today. I'm Sean McAllister. And I'm Bailey Tucker. You can watch us streaming at 1130 a.m. this Saturday on the KDK website. You can also check us out on West Virginia Public Broadcasting on Friday night at 830 p.m. As well as watch our show on the City of Morgantown's Public Access Channel and the HD Media website. Thanks for watching West Virginia Today.